everyone. We've just arrived at McLaren Technology Center in Woking and we're currently in a shuttle bus and we're going from the car park to the actually to the uh, the center. When I get there, I'm going to see what I can film. We're going on, we're actually here for track day and we're going to have a look around the technology center as well. So when we get in there, I'll film. I'm so excited about this. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm so tired. I did not sleep last night properly. I'm so tired. So yeah. So we've come through to, th this is the, the room that you start in, which this is the room where you can take a look and kind of like spec your car, look at the colors, look at the leathers. These are some of the special exclusive colors that you can get, which are like, these are some of the more standard. And then, um, yeah, these are, these are called special operation colors. And they're all in here, as you can see. But yeah, this is what they've put on for us. It's a beautiful Artura. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go around and get some photos and have a closer look at some of the cars that are here. Um, in that last video, some of you might, if you saw that last video, some of you might have seen some of these cars already, but I'm gonna try and show you ones that I didn't show you in that last clip. And then after that, we're gonna drive to Donsfold, which is, um, it's like an airfield and also a racetrack. And we're gonna go on hot laps. We're gonna learn how to drive the 720S and also the GT. Here are some of the cars, 765 LT, how cool is that, 600 LT, that's what David and I have got, and then at the end, check this out, F1 GTR, this is last year's F1 car, so 2021, do you know what's really weird, it's way bigger in real life than you would have it down for, because when you're watching them on the track obviously they look really tiny, but it is, it's a really big piece of kit and when you see it up close look it's all carbon fibre so it's as lightweight as possible, the cockpit is like the tiniest thing ever, I think I would be really claustrophobic in there, do you remember we went and did karting? A while ago so this is Daniel's car uh, and we did karting a while ago and it's like that it was slightly bigger actually and it was the most claustrophobic thing ever so this is a 1988 Honda engine McLaren driven by Ayrton Senna which to me literally gives me chills up my spine because he is someone that I am just fascinated with I think this has won 15 out of 16 races so honestly, how incredible is this car to think that Ayrton Senna has sat in that seat and right now we all have the pleasure of standing next to this car. I showed you a bit of a tour there of um, around MTC, McLaren Technology Centre and some of the cars they've got here. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to have some lunch and as soon as we've had lunch we are leaving to go to Dunsfold to do our track event. Okay, we've arrived at Dunsfold and we had to drive around the track to get here and the track's really big here and it, actually it was a really nice drive just to kind of like give your car some but here it is behind me and there's also here a row of McLarens that we're going to be going in so we're driving 720S's and uh, GT's and we're going to do hot laps as well we are We've got to head down to the car go. Let's go Can you I walk in front of me? 720 first
we've just arrived at the spa. So this is the spa entrance. Just in the changing room now and it's so quiet here. It's really calm. I'm going to the pool to meet David. So he's obviously gone through the men's section and I'm gonna go through the women's section and try and find him. What are these candles like? Spa candles? That smells quite nice actually. Winter scent. Yeah, it smells like cinnamon kind of thing. Oh no, it's frankincense. These are all Christmassy. Alexander Hotel collection candle there. Basil, lime and mandarin. All of this is Temple Spa. This is a really good brand. But my friend told me about this brand. As I just told you, Temple Spa. And I'd love to try some of the products. This mask looks so good. Quench. So I'm looking at different ones to see like, if I want to try one. And this one looks good. I've just been told so much good about this, that brand, Temple Spa, but this brand also looks good. I think I recognise this from Space NK. Yeah, these all look really good. As you saw there, we were at the spa earlier and I filmed as much as I could, but obviously there were other people using the spa and David and I wanted to use the spa and that meant like saunas and the steam rooms. And I'm not gonna go and film, take the camera. Can you imagine like breaking the camera? Anyway, I showed you what I could and I hope that you got a good vibe for it. The spa here is beautiful and it's, inside the actual hotel like a lot of the spas we've been to you have to leave the hotel and the spas in a whole different building this is contained in the building itself which is very convenient because the spa is actually directly below our room so it's not too far to walk but we've just um had a shower we've got changed and what we're going to do now is apparently there's some grounds here that are amazing to go for a walk around so we're going to go and do that then we are gonna to go to the bar, have a few drinks. I really want a Cosmo. It's been a while since I've had a Cosmo. Then I've got dinner booked for eight o'clock at in one of the restaurants here. So as always, you're invited. You can just come along with us. This is the view from the window in our room. And this building is 16th century. So it's been here a long time. And you can see there's a bit of the spa there outside. One thing I did want to do is earlier when we were in the spa, they have, you know the products that you saw? I didn't buy anything because I wanted to research online before I potentially bought anything. Anyway, there is this one mask which has had such good reviews and it's, it's like a detoxifying mask and I have quite combination oily skin and I think I'm going to go and try it. So I'm going to go to the spa now, the spa shop, purchase it, then we're going to go out for our walk, then we are going to go to the bar. Found it. It's actually cheaper than at Harrods. It's £28 here and it's this the purification deep cleansing mask so i think i'm gonna purchase one of those um yeah that was the main thing i wanted to try really found the doorway to get to the outside area oh it's cold but you know gotta do it apparently through there at the end there are some amazing grounds um like gardens I think they said is that what he said i think he said there was gardens did he say a rose garden oh well, that would be nice do you know today i thought it was gonna be really warm well not really warm but warm no <laughs> we just did our walk no we didn't we've turned straight back round because it is too cold here's the, here's the real thing right um are you gonna have a cocktail or just like a regular drink there's a cocktail I think all of it is. Oh, they're the signature. You can get them. fig and almonds. I oh, do like. Fig do almonds. like a sour. I might have a Manhattan. I'm gonna have yeah. I'm gonna have a Manhattan.
drink number two, which is an almond and fig. I can't remember what they called this, a sour, almond and fig sour. And I'm gonna try it and see if it's any good. Oh wow, that's good. That is really good. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it? They were just going to try it. God, it's so sweet. I know. It's good though. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I can drink more. So we've arrived at the restaurant after drinks and this is the Reflections restaurant that we're in. There's actually two here. And some of the items that are on the menu I'm thinking, are you going to go starter? I need to look. Because if we're going to go starter, I might get the either the trout or the spring onion tart. And then for Maine, I was going to go and get the uh, day boat fish, whatever that is. And David's thinking about getting one of the steaks, uh, one of the two steaks here. Hi everyone, it's the morning after. Feeling really, really tired. Last night was really good fun. Um, we've just come to breakfast and we're choosing what we're gonna eat for breakfast. Is the table. Tables look really good. They've been decorated really nicely. And then in here. So we paid for bed and breakfast. So this is all included in the price. Oh, poached eggs and avocado. The yogurts look really good. I think. Let's try this, see how good this granola thing is. Mm. That's actually really good. It's kind of like cold porridge but uncooked porridge, like the oats are quite prevalent in it. We really do feel worse for wear this morning. I'm sorry for not filming dinner, by the way. I filmed the menu and then I completely forgot and I ended up just eating, both of us did. We're gonna head home now and then when I get home, back to reality. There's so much to clean up and I feel that's what I'm gonna end up doing today. Anyway. Hey everyone, welcome to part two of the vlog. And I'm wearing a skirt and it's the windiest day ever in your life. That's what I'm wearing and it's so windy. Anyway, we have just arrived at Porsche Centre Reading because I don't know how many of you saw on Instagram, but um, I've basically been given allocation on a GT3, which GT3s are, just to give you an idea, they're rarer, they're harder to get than Hermes. Birkins and Kellys. They don't make many of them. You have to be like invited to even get one. You can go and buy one secondhand and pay extra for it, like overs, but to actually be selected to be able to special order, spec your own. And I'm really, really, really grateful, actually, and really excited. But the reason why I've come here today is I don't know what colour to get this car in. I keep changing my mind. One minute I'm thinking shark blue, then black, then white. I just don't know. So we're going to have a look at the colour palette, um, like the colour slides they have in the showroom, and hopefully settle on a decision. They're having, um, they're having building work done here at the moment. So, God, it's loud. So we're gonna go in this side entrance. Hi, everyone. I hope you can hear me over the... Hi, everyone. I hope you can hear me over the building work that's going on over there. Okay, so, couldn't film the cars for you because what we were looking at, a lot of them were customer cars. But I'm gonna show you some of the press cars they've got here. One in particular is my favorite color. It's like a pinky color called Frozen Berry, and it's on a GT4. You wait until you see it.
So you might be you might be asking what colour did I go for? And when I was there, I couldn't. I, as I mentioned, I couldn't really film much of it because there were customer cars around. But what we ended up doing is. Akin, my salesperson, we didn't even go and look at colours on slides on the wall. We actually went round the back of the dealership and there were people's cars that had been ordered and I was able to see the cars in the various different colours and it really helped make up my mind because you know when you're spending this kind of money you don't want it to turn up and you look at it and you're like why did I pick that colour, it's gross. And I really feel like I've come to a conclusion now, in fact when I got back, I had to put the order in, which meant deciding on all of the spec, like the interior, the exterior, the wheels, the colour, and um, I was able to finalise it and know in my head that I was happy with it, and I've now submitted it, and the factory has accepted it, and there is no changing it from now on. I am going to leave it a surprise what colour that I went for. And I am going to do a collection video when it turns up and I think it's going to be here at the end of June, beginning of July. So that is when you'll get to see it. I just think that makes it more fun. And thank you as well to all of you on Instagram who voted because I did a poll on my Instagram stories and it was like two of the colours I was thinking of and I asked you the question of which one do you think and actually your poll answers really helped more than you could know. In fact, you guys made me decide that I'm not going to do gold wheels on the particular colours of car that I'm looking at. You helped me decide that. I'm going to go matte black wheels. That's all I'm going to tell you right now. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. It is a bonus video for the week because I know not everyone is into cars, but if you're still here watching, thank you so much for doing so. And I'll see you in the next video.